G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well today I've got another RC speedboat. Um, I picked this one up at Gearbest. Uh, it was on sale. It was only like uh, $64 I think uh, when I picked it up and uh, around I don't know about 40 under 45 dollars us so um yeah i thought i'll pick this one up mainly for the fact that um it's a larger uh rc bone i've always wanted another one uh that's a bit larger in scale compared to the smaller boats that i've got in my collection so um this is a wl toys wl 912-a it's also called the ocean explorer as you can see there it's made for teenagers and adults, and uh, yeah, pretty cool looking boat here. As you can see, uh, it's a speed boat, and it runs on 2.4 gigahertz controller. As you can see, it's got one of those uh, typical WL Toys RC car pistol grip transmitters. It comes with a two cell, 1500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. And this one's got pretty, some pretty good speed to it. It's claimed to go 35 kilometers an hour. That's another reason why I wanted to try this one out for myself. Powerful propeller. <laughs> uh, it's got the capsize anti-flip function. So that what that means if you flip it upside down, uh, yeah, you can just tweak the uh, throttle forward and back and turn the, uh, the steering wheel and it'll flip back over. So there's no problems there. Now this one says it's got a powerful brushless motor. Now, when I bought this, uh, it claimed it was brushed, but uh, maybe they'd make a brushless version of this. I'm not too sure. And they've just put it on the box uh, rather than putting the separate boxes for two different models. I'm not too sure. Maybe that could be a typo as well. Uh, this one has an operation distance of 100 to 150 meters, it says on the uh, online, so... Yeah, pretty cool. That's uh, pretty typical of um, RC boats. They usually have at least a 100 meter range uh, when you get into the entry level sort of hobby grade boats like this. But yeah, um, this ain't your basic uh, small, smaller brushed boat. This is actually the same size as my Phelan FT012. So that's why I decided to buy it. Um, there's not really much on the other side. Just a little bit of info there about the anti-flip function, the anti-capsizing uh, protection. And, and as you can see, they mentioned brushless motor again. So, all right. I'm going to open this up and we'll have a look inside and uh, then I'll take it for a bit of a run on the pond. Okay, guys. Well, first off, we get in the box this uh, user manual. Now, it's in both... English and Chinese as you can see here and uh, this should just give you the basic information and overview on the whole boat how to charge it up and so forth there's not many pages in this one very simple as you can see there it goes through the transmitter how to steer it and a bit of a parts list on the back here in both English and Chinese. So there's all the parts that comes with it. We've got the controller here. Now this looks exactly like the, the typical uh, WL Toys controller that you usually get with the RC cars. In fact, this looks pretty much identical to that uh, WL Toys 144 001 buggy that I just made videos on so as you can see it's pretty much identical you got your trigger here and you got some uh, steering trim and uh, let me see it's gonna zoom in throttle trim and steering trim on off switch just on the back there and the mode button and this will take four AA batteries there's nothing on this other side so exactly the same controller as what you get in most uh, WL Toys RC cars and trucks. Okay, so um, in this little bag here, we have the actual stand. So it consists of three parts, two end pieces and the middle. As you can see, you just slot these ends in. It'd be like a jigsaw puzzle sort of thing and uh, you make the stand. We've got the uh, USB charger, of course. This is a two cell charger via USB, got an extra prop here, you can see there, two Allen wrenches as well, and on this side we've got a little prop 
uh, wrench that would be to take the rear propeller off and it just looks like a typical you know RC car wrench and that's made out of plastic okay onto the boat now as you can see fairly decent sized boat like I said this is the same size as my uh, Phelan uh, FT012 so uh, this is brushed this is not brushless and uh, yeah it's pretty nice looking boat you got the um, little rubber nose cap here for for collisions to protect the uh, actual nose of the boat it's already pre-installed usually these ones uh, these boats have them in like a goodie bag and you got to just put it on yourself but that's pre-installed so that's all right um, yeah W w-12 so that's the model number of this one speed ahead and limit speed on the spoiler but yeah really nice looking boat as you can see we've got the rudder on the back here uh, nice black canopy with silver windows we've got the little spout for the water because this is water cooled so the water gets sucked in through the rear and then through the hoses inside and then out out the side there and yeah, there's a little prop there with a prop shaft. Looks like a, a brass colored uh, prop shaft just here. And there's the little Allen wrench or the Allen screw to remove the prop if needed. But yeah, pretty cool looking boat. Nice glossy black finish on the top and a shiny white plastic with the red and black accents of the stripes. So yeah, pretty, pretty decent. All right. Let's open it up. It's just uh, got one canopy on this one with the rubber seal around it. Very easy to take off. And here's the inside, guys. As you can see, straight away, this is not a brushless version. I mean, when I did go to pick this one up, I knew it was brushed. But it's got a bigger, uh, well, fairly decent sized uh, 390 brushed motor in it. Um, I haven't had a speedboat you know, like this RC speedboat with a brushed motor of this size. This is typically what you find in brushed RC cars and trucks. So uh, that's pretty decent. That's what they, that's why they claim that uh, this one will go at least uh, 35 k's an hour. We'll soon see how it goes on the water. As you can see, you got your little servo on the back there. Associated wires going to the waterproof ESC at the front, and it is water cooled, as you can see. All the uh, piping going through it winds around the motor there to keep it nice and cool so it doesn't overheat and the water will eject from that little spout there so yeah pretty cool uh, we've got the aluminum prop shaft there as you can see in the linkages to the motor so that looks pretty decent it's not plastic so uh, that should be really good as far as uh, reliability and durability in the long term but uh, yeah, decently sized uh, battery bay here to accommodate little lipos as well. So I'll just put that aside for now on the box here. And uh, as I said before, this has a 1500 milliamp hour lithium ion pack. And uh, they say that this one will should last around 7 to 8 minutes of driving time on the water. All right, guys, so yeah, as I mentioned, this has got uh, basically the anti-flip function. Uh, so if you flip it over, it's going to flip back. you got your sensor here as well for the water once you put it in the water. There should be one on the, a couple on the bottom. Yeah, there is. There's a couple on the bottom there as well. So once you touch the water, this should be active. And um, this is supposed to have a low LVC alarm, which sends telemetry from the the volts from the battery back to the controller so that's pretty awesome as well all right guys well i'm going to take it out on the pond i'm going to charge the battery up and we'll see how it performs all right i'll catch you at the pond okay guys welcome back i'm now at the pond here and uh there's quite a bit of uh ducks here today some big huge ones over there but I'm here with the uh, WL Toys 912A boat. Now this, like I mentioned in the unboxing, it's got a 390 brush motor, which is supposed to propel this uh, boat on the water up to 35 k's an hour. Now I've already hooked up the battery. I'm just going to turn the transmitter on. And we've got the rudder working here. 
here, so I uh, might just uh, take off from here. I'll try not to disrupt these. Uh, I've got baby swans here as well. There's a push bike in here as well. Look at that, BMX bike. So I'll try not to annoy these. Uh, this wildlife here too much. Okay, we just got in the water. Quite a few birds here today. A lot of ducks and a lot of little baby swans. Got some good speed to it. Run off a 50 pound pack. It's a 1500 milliamp hour. Now it looks like it needs, let me just see. Yeah, it needs a pull to the left, so it needs a bit of a right trim. trim on this guys. Oh you gotta press it, okay. I thought I had to turn the dial. So one says throttle trim see like an RC car. This one says steering trim so right basically it's left trim, right trim. I thought these were these actually spin around. So let me just try to trim it up. That seems to be going pretty straight. So, all these uh, little baby swans and so forth, they've left. They thought, bugger this. This guy's got a boat out here. So, it's good in the way that they moved over there. I didn't want to disrupt them too much. So, yeah, um, this has got about 100 metre range. I'm not going to test that out, but as you can see, um, about 40, 30 metres away. Take it out a little bit further, I guess. Look, first fountain there. Watch these birds. So she's skipping on the water pretty good. Got a bit of a uh, rooster tail at the back for a brush motor. It's not too bad. Now got too much right trim. Still in circles. So I'll just try to trim that out. <laughs> so yeah, not bad speed. Uh, this is the same size as the bigger boats that you can get. It's as big as a uh, my Phelan FT12. Pretty awesome. Pretty happy with his purchase. This one only comes in at a uh, 45 bucks US, guys. It's a pretty decent price, actually. It's rather cheap, actually, because uh, you usually get smaller boats that um, cost a, a more than this. Now, this is running off the lithium ion pack. A bit like the uh, WL Toys products, like the uh, Rock Racers, you know, the 12428. So it's the same 18650, a pair of 18650s, you know, lithium oil pack like that. I think this one will go a lot better on a LiPo. It uh, takes one of those Kamiya Molex, Molex, I think they're called, uh, connectors. But I've actually found an adapter that I bought a while back in my stash of uh, parts and accessories that I can uh, convert this to Dean so I'll be trying it out on a LiPo next time around but you can get out there pretty good I'm full throttle the whole time guys supposed to give me about seven minutes and it's supposed to have an alarm on this PX as well 
So I've been running it for a while. Yeah, not a bad boat. Performing pretty good. Let me just do some circles. That's the turning radius there. As you can see. Not bad. It's fully proportional, I can cruise along slowly. Steering and throttle are proportional as always on these type of boat. You can cruise around. This one's big enough to put a little uh, little tube camera on, you know, one of those little uh, fireflies or uh, you know, the firefly mini run cam. Uh, I've got a couple of those, I've got a Firefly and it looks like it's slowing down a bit here so I don't see an alarm going off so I might, uh, I might leave it at that guys just in case there is no alarm and they've done a misprint on the uh, on the actual listing, it did slow down a little bit there but I was uh, I was full throttle for a good five, six minutes there anyway. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, this could easily carry a, you know, I've got a, a couple of little SQ12 cameras, so I might do that one day as well. When I test out the light, I might put one on there. So, uh, anyway yeah, guys, uh, I may have cut that a little bit short, but uh, I won't have to drag on too long anyway. But uh, as you can see, this performed pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this purchase. This cost me about... 60 odd dollars Australian um, and it goes in for around 40 to 45 American. So for a boat of this size, I think it performed rather well. Let's see if there's any water in here first before I finish this video. And no, not even a drop. Not even a drop of water there. That's pretty awesome. Oh, there's just a tiny little trace coming from the prop shaft. But no, not, not much water at all pretty much non-existent so that's pretty that's good all right well just put that back on so anyway guys that sums up my review on the w912 rp speed boat from wl toys um like i said i got this from gearbest but unfortunately uh just as i received this when i looked it up it's discontinued now so Looks like maybe I've probably got one of the last ones in their warehouse, possibly. So, um, if I can find any other links, I'll put them in the description below. I'm pretty sure, you know, you can widely get this available either on Amazon, Banggood, or so forth. So, uh, I'll look up some uh, links online, eBay, whatever, and I'll put them in the links below, uh, in the description below. And, uh, yeah, you can check it out for yourself, all the specs and so forth that I've covered in this video. Alright guys, thanks for watching once again. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We've got some pretty cool uh, RC products coming my way pretty soon before Christmas, so stay tuned to those. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Till next time, happy RCN. Bye for now.